order. The World Cup of Trick Shots. The Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun. Team USA up 3-2 over Team Europe. We're in our second semifinal. The sharpshooter, Jamie Gray, at the table. His first attempt at Team USA uh, in this sixth round. I'm going to shoot the one ball off the opposite rail and catch it in my hand and put it in the pocket. Then I'm going to reverse to left-handed, shoot the two ball off the rail, put it in the pocket. Then I'm going to go back righty, lefty, righty, and lefty. Degree of difficulty, Mitch, is going to be an eight. All right, let's see if he can do it. This would be big. It would get Team USA up by a couple of points here. Nice speed. Well done. Looks like he's all right, but can he do it six times in a row? Let's see. He's got three down. That's right, excellent. Left, ha left hand is excellent. That's very good. You see Andy Siegel <laughs> in the background just <laughs> waiting to explode if this goes. Oh, that was nice. nice. <laughs> great, great work by Jamie Gray there. Picks up a point for Team USA. Everybody kind of waiting when he turned it around. Thanks. That's when everybody realized it. Good job by Jamie. Let's look at it. And left-handed, the last one, catch it, put it in a pocket. Caught it. There it is. Another look. He caught it. Gave it to Andy Siegel. So a point for Team USA. Let's see. His second attempt for Nick Nicolaitis. We'll try to pick up a point and keep it close. Left-handed for the fourth ball. Nick, Nick looks like he's executing this nicely. Lefty and righty. This is righty. He is righty. Good speed on this so far, Alan. He's yes. not rushing it. Perfect. And he does it. Yes. That's it. He'll give it to Luke, and Luke puts it in the park. <laughs> okay. All right, good job by Nick, too. They pull back within a point at 4-3. Luke Shabala at the table. His second attempt now on Team Europe's sixth challenge. Trailing at 4-3, he will try to tie it up. Here's Cool Hand Luke. Uh, this is the master shot. What I'm going to do here is shoot cue ball into the one, and the cue ball needs to travel around those balls and pack it four ball in the side pocket. And definitely at least a nine. Degree of difficulty a nine, a masse. Anytime you masse in the cue ball, very difficult. Must hit the one, come back around those balls, and make the four in the side. Keep an eye on the cue ball here. Oh, yes, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Well done. Terrific yeah. shot by Luke Shabala. He's Bandiga. got to be happy about that, Mitch. Yes, he is. <laughs> that was a beautiful shot. Perfect. Excellent. Doesn't get any better than that. And you got another bazinga <laughs> out of Luke Shabala. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, speed control is so important there. Great work. Tied at four now. No Team USA and Team Europe. Jamie Gray will have a chance to pick up a point on Luke's challenge shot. I'll tell you, Mitch, you know, he made that look so easy, but it's not. The speed at which you hit the cue ball is so important. Oh, almost. Yeah. That was close. A little harder. Might have to get another attempt at it. You know, adjustment's so big a part of the trick shot world, so let's see if Jamie can 
figure out what he needs to do, adjust and pick up a point. Uh, nope, nope. Oh well, uh, tough shot. All right, a point picked up by Luke Shavala. That's right. That's right. Jamie Gray couldn't get that challenge, so we're tied at four. And coming up, Jamie Gray and Andy Siegel are gonna try the double speed jump shot. You won't wanna miss it. Come on. Welcome back to Uncasville, Connecticut. The Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun in the sixth World Cup of Trick Shots. Frank Del Pizzo taking care of business, making sure that table's good and clean. And crowd really into it now. Team USA, Team Europe tied at four. Trying to pick up a point. Take it into the final. <laughs> Fantastic energy here at the Wolf Den. And we'll get back to business. Andy Siegel, Jamie Gray will have their first attempt on Team USA's seventh right. challenge. Thanks, tied Andy. at four. Here All we right, go. This shot here was actually, my part was invented by... Um, a uh, friend of mine, up-and-coming player named Steve Markle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the cue ball into that corner pocket, and before it gets there, I'm going to double jump these two balls, then these two, and then these two. After I hit the cue ball, not only do I have to jump, but Jamie has to do three single jumps into the corner pocket. Degree of difficulty is a nine here, and I'll tell you, it's very difficult to get the timing done exactly right in this. Andy's got a tough road ahead of him with the... Yep. Chopsticks in his hand, jumping those two balls. One, two. Oh, my goodness, he does it. Oh, Come wow. on, baby. Look oh, at it. Unbelievable. Yeah. Look at it. Oh. That's it. That is a How great that? shot. How is that? Unbelievable. I'll tell you how he can hit two balls with those sticks each time. <laughs> <laughs> Timing on that is unbelievable. You see in the background, there's Andy's wife, Kim. Jamie's wife, Beverly. <laughs> the double high happy. fives. Everybody got to be excited. happy. Got to be happy about getting this one in. Oh, look at that cue ball just drifting down here. Just great. The three single shots Ray has to make. And this is big. The pressure now squarely back on Team Europe. As they are trailing 5 4. And see this reaction. <laughs> Pumped up. <laughs> How was that one? You bet. That was, was nice. Pretty sticking good, <laughs> Andy. Yeah. Team USA, 5-4. Tim Chen, Bruce Bartholet behind them, excited as well. The first attempt for Nick Nicolaitis and Luke Shavala. Is a cue ball? Re oh, one of the balls came back out on him. All right, close. That's a tough worry, break. Let's take a look and see what happened, yeah. Mitch. Sure. Oh, it came back out. There it is. Came back out and stopped the cue ball from going in the pocket. Another look at it. Five ball goes around the pocket and misses and comes back out. <laughs> you know, so many people have trouble jumping with one cue. You yeah. put another one in your hands and try it. Unbelievable. Very difficult. Again, a ball stays out. out on it. Bad break for Nick. <laughs> All right, close. Team Europe unable to pick up a point. Right. Team right USA up 5-4. Why is this happening? Let's take a look again. Cue balls hit good. Let's score go in. Oh, he just misses the six. Right, just jarred just it. missing the six, that's all. Okay, Nick. Quick Nick. <coughs> Nicolaitis at the table. This will be Team Europe's seventh challenge, his second attempt. Let's hear him as he explains the sweeper. All right, I'm going to sweep these three balls. The end rails are going to come back in a little different manner. The 9 will be first, the 10, then the 11. I'm going to spear them one after the other through the opening of the triangle to the side pocket. Degree of difficulty, a 9 at least. Timing is so important on the balls coming up. Jumping through there and making the ball on the side. And, <laughs> and as you see, it's difficult. <laughs> so Nick will take a seat. No point for Team Europe. Still trail 5-4. Actually, Mitch, you know, he, he does get the balls coming up at the right time, and he had the perfect time to make it. He just misses them. That one just hit the rack. But notice the 9 comes up first, the 10 right behind it, jumps through the rack, just misses. That's all. <laughs> pretty, pretty shot if it goes. <laughs> so... 
Nick, I'm sure disappointed. Wanted to try to tie this match up. Remember, Team USA picked up a point in the one. first semifinal. Tim Chin and Bruce Barthollet. Now Andy Siegel, the captain of Team USA, will try to extend their lead. Too close together. They're too close together. So it's so important sweeping those balls. So important. See him practicing that sweeping move. Andy trained in martial arts. Does a lot of that kind of work. A little too fast. Too fast that time. Oh, oh. oh difficult shot. Oh. Disappointed, try. too. Andy Siegel unable to pick up a point. Still 5-4, Team USA. As we move toward the conclusion of this semifinal match, remember, each team with eight challenges. Jamie Gray at the table, the sharpshooter, will have his first attempt on Team USA's eighth challenge. If he makes it, Team USA will All clinch right. a tie. Here we go. I'm going to roll the three balls down table. Once they get past the chalk, I'm going to shoot a 1-2-3 combination into the corner pocket while they're rolling. Degree of difficulty. I'm going to give this an eight. Three ball must go past the chalk first. It's how you roll the balls down the table. He's setting them up now. Jamie started playing pool, he said, at six years of age, as soon as he could see over the table. <laughs> he couldn't wait to get there. Oh, boy, he had it, too. He had it perfect. Notice the two and three were... They were... You know, Mitch, he had them together that time. It looked like it would have been perfect. A lot of time to set it up, got everything ready, and then quickly it was over. Andy came up and said, all right, you got it. Yeah. This is where teamwork is so important, too, even if it's just giving your partner a little confidence. Hope, hopefully he can do it again. All right. I'm going to roll the three balls down table. As they're rolling, I'm going to pocket a one, two, three combination into the corner. Again, I give this an eight. He had it last time. He just got a little excited. I think that it was that I <laughs> rolled them down perfect. Looks pretty good again. Oh, he just missed the one ball into it. He's got that down though. Tough break. Tough break for Greg. All right, no points. Still up Two point. attempts. Yeah, you, know, you, know you heard him. Still up a point. It's true. We'll take another look. Tough shot. Notice the two and three together coming down perfectly. He had it that time, too. That's what's frustrating, Alan, when you know you got the first part of it down and then the second part doesn't come together. Yeah, he knows it, too. Okay, Nick Nicolaitis at the table now. Same shot. First attempt. If he misses both, the USA will clinch at least a tie. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that shot. You know, that's a pretty looking shot. I yes. noticed that the two and three, the way they're throwing them, the two and three come down staying together. And then the one drifts off a little bit. But this can't go this time. They weren't thrown correctly. <laughs> so he knew that, too. He knew that. 5-4, <laughs> Team USA. You know, if we take a look at this again, Mitch, you'll see that as soon as he threw the balls down, he knew that wasn't going to go. Notice the two and three were at the wrong angle to go in the corner, so he knows right. that. It has come to this. Luke Shawala at the table, and this is now do or die for Luke. His first attempt on Europe's eighth challenge, trailing 5-4. He has to get a point here or this match is over. Here's Luke Shawala. Okay, in the... These three shots, I need to shoot cue ball into the rail. The cue ball will fly over the, those balls, hit uh, two rails, hit triangle, and pocket four ball in that corner pocket. Okay, I'm going to give Luke a seven on degree of difficulty on this shot. I think he's got a good opportunity of making this, but let's see. He needs to make it. It's a little different when you need to make the shot. Jumping over those balls is probably the toughest part, getting over the Four balls along the rail there with the right hand spin on the cue ball. Gets over them. Oh, just not enough spin. 
Ball lengthened out a little too much on him. Close. Obviously, close isn't going to cut it. He's got one attempt left to pick up a point and tie this up. Remember, if he does, we would go to a tiebreaker. Eight rail bank onto a $100 bill. We have seen it before, certainly. In the World Cup, Nick Nicolaitis comes over, just checking, helping out. Well, he'll make a little adjustment. Nope. Notice he's going to hit sh lower down on the rail because the cue ball lengthens out after it jumps over the balls. All right. Will this match be over, or will Team USA have a chance at this if Luke ties it up? I'd like to see him make it, Mitch. Just like to see it get close. Looks pretty good. Yes. Dead center. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> nice adjustment. Talk about clutch. See the reaction of his Team Europe teammates. Notice where he hits on the bottom rail. Lightens out and hits the rack and makes the ball in the corner. Again. Perfect. Perfect angle to come down and hit the rack. Well done. And there is Nick saying, yeah. I was waiting to hear Bazenga out of Nick, but it didn't happen. And I'm sure inside, Luke has to feel really good about it. Now, with a chance to win this semifinal, Captain Andy Siegel, his first attempt at Europe's challenge. Can he end it right here? No. It's a little harder. Got hit a little harder than that. I'll tell you, you know, Luke came through with it and pressure making the shot. Excellent. Now, Andy has to hit this a little bit harder and get over those four balls and give the cue ball a chance to come around the table. Andy, the two-time and current world champion, ranked number one in the world since September of 2008. Second attempt. Got over the balls. Nope. Unfortunately, no. no. Nope. All right, there you see it. That's the story so far in the second semifinal. 5-5. Five, five. Team Europe, Team USA trying to pick up a point and take it into the final. Luke Shabala doing what he needed to do. This clutch trick shot here in Uncasville. And here we go. A lot of excitement, as there should be, inside the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun, Mitch Lawrence, Alan Hopkins, the Hall of Famer. Here inside the Wolf Den, watching Team Europe and Team USA in a tie break. Here's our format. They will lag. Nick Nicolaitis, Andy Siegel will lag to determine who gets the first shot. Eight rail bank on to $100 bill. They'll each have an attempt. And the winner will carry a point into the final. Team USA already did that in the first semi. Here's the lag. <laughs> wow. You can hear Andy's wife, Kim, in the background. Andy Siegel wins the lag. This is not the first time these two will have met under these circumstances last year in the first semifinal. Andy Siegel in the tiebreaker went first, and Alan, walk us through it. Well, Andy hits a good shot here. Looks like it's going to come around and go right down the bottom and get on the $100 bill, but it gets a little weak here at the end. It just slows up a little too, too easy. So that room for Nick Nicolaitis, he can get inside that. Team Europe would win the point. And of and course, take this semifinal match. And of course, you know, he hits it a little bit harder. Come on! And that's all he needed to do. You got it, baby. Yeah. Woo! You see, congratulations from at the time Tom Rossman on Team USA, Andy Siegel, Luke Shavala, got me to show you in the background, Stefano Palinga, part of Team Europe that would win that semifinal and the final. They are the defenders here in Uncasville. Andy Siegel won the lag, which gives him the choice of going first or second, and he has passed it to Nick Nicolaitis, Allen. Yes, Mitch, and degree of difficulty, we're giving this an eight. Oh, this looks pretty good. You can do it, baby. Oh, he you likes can it. do it. Looks it. good. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so not close. bad, it's not bad. One inch. <clears throat> Our referee, Dave Nangle, stepping up. He will measure it. 
That is great work by Nick Nicolaitis, boy, to put that pressure on Andy. I'll tell you what, Mr. the one who goes first usually doesn't win, but this is not going to be easy to beat because he's very close to that. So Andy has his work cut out. Eight rails trying to make the cue ball come closer than that. And here, as you can see, the speed looks really nice right there, coming down. It's starting to slow up. Looks like it's almost going to stay on the, the, the $100 bill, but just rolls off. <laughs> You're right about that. That's bad. an understatement, for sure. <laughs> you imagine that cue ball is traveling over 25 feet, trying to land right there. That's excellent. And you know, interesting psychological play by Andy Siegel to pass it and see what Nick does. We'll find out if that strategy backfires now with Andy at the table. Yeah, he likes it. <laughs> Nick really likes this one. Oh, yeah. Very close. 5 and 11 16. Wow, he looked like he was even closer than that. Look at that. All right. So they may be talking to the center under the $100 mm -hmm. bill. Can he do it? Team USA captain Andy Siegel. Here we go. Left hand English on the cue ball. Ooh, this might be, uh, nope. He oh, caught the point on the side pocket there and that slowed it up. And you heard him, he said it slowed it up. And he will try <laughs> to open along, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> oh. There you go, Nick Nicolaitis has done it. That eight rail bank onto the $100 bill, and Team Europe wins this second semifinal. Obviously happy Luke Shavala, Nick Nicolaitis, and their teammates. Gabby Vishoyu of Romania, Stefano Palinga of Italy, Team Europe picking up a point in this semifinal to carry it into the final. Obviously, the super shot of the match brought to you by Simonis. Quick Nick, Nick Nicolaitis at the table. The bank. Very close to the $100 bill. Benjamin Franklin looking on. And here is our updated Aramith Road to the final. Each team picking up a point in their semi. And it has all come down to the final. Team USA and Team Europe here in Uncasville. Team USA leading in this series 3-2. to two. Will they pick up a fourth title or will Team Europe pick up a third and tie the matches up. Always exciting action here at the Wolf Den in Uncasville, Connecticut, Mohegan Sun. Fantastic trick shot artists at work. You won't want to miss the exciting final coming up. For Alan Hopkins, I'm Mitch Lawrence. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So long, everybody, from Mohegan Sun.